Hello and welcome to this new video in which we're going to look at how to solve a skeleton crossword puzzle. Now a skeleton crossword is a particularly difficult type of crossword because not only do you have to solve a crossword as with a normal puzzle but you also have to build the grid itself. Um, now if you'd like to try this puzzle we will include a link to it in the YouTube description. Um, okay so as you can see the puzzle is quite bare which is given a few black squares and a few squares that contain a clue number and we have to build the grid. Now at the end obviously not all of these squares will contain a number um, but we will end up with a valid crossword grid. So there's two stages one building the grid and the other solving the clues and they tend to interact so you might solve some clues and fill in a bit of the grid pattern and so on. Probably the most important thing to note with a skeleton crossword is that the grid is virtually always symmetrical if it's not, then you should be told that. And with the grids on this site, they all exhibit standard 180 degrees rotational symmetry, which means that if this square is shaded in, and this one is shaded in, and vice versa. Um, now with this particular software tool to shade the square, you press the spacebar and toggle it on and off. So the first thing to do is to note the location of these four black squares and you can then fill in their symmetric partner. So if this square is black, then this square is black. If this one is black, then this square is black. If this square is black, then this square is black. And if this square is black, then, and if you find it hard to see, you can just count. So we're on row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And on column 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we go the other way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And that square is black as well. Then next, we can do the same with the clue numbers. So if this is five down, then we know that this square here must also be a answer square, a white square. So we're just gonna mark an X there just so that we know that that's not gonna be a black shaded square. If this eight is, then we know its corresponding partner here is. And if this 12 is, then we know its corresponding square here is. Okay, so that's really the key idea, I think, is the symmetry of the puzzle. So whenever you find one piece of information, you can then mark in the corresponding square, whether it's a shaded square or if it's an answer square, a light. Um, okay, so next you would generally go through and look for um, clues that have a straightforward answer or one clear answer, and then you would basically um, try that and see if it works. So for instance, eight here, we know this is an across clue. Flight carriers, there's no eight down. So flight carriers makes you think of airlines. There aren't many other words that fit there. Um, so that's almost certainly correct. So we would write that in. And then of course there has to be a shaded square after it. Um, and then we could put in the corresponding letters. Uh, that are symmetric. If we look at 12 long haired hunting dogs, there's a few options, um, but you could reasonably try setters, and um, that's quite often the answer for that clue. That would mean that this square would be black and its symmetric partner. And also notice that there is no 12 across, and this happens to be next to another black square. And because there's no 12 across, then we know that that must be a shaded square. Um, and again, we've marked the symmetric partner. And so you can see you're starting to make quite good progress. Um, I think one other thing to note is that with, I think every crossword, you're gonna have a minimum of a three letter answer. Um, so if you ever think you're gonna uh, end up with a two letter answer at some point, for instance, if this was turned black, then we'd have a two letter answer here in the across direction, which isn't allowed in any valid grid pattern really, it's a minimum of three letters. So you know, for instance, straight away that that can't be 
black because then it would lead to a two letter answer there unless of course that was black as well so you do have to be a bit careful with the logic but if you knew for some reason that was a white square and therefore this was a white square and likewise this was white and this was white then you couldn't then make that one a black square okay so those are the rules and solving tips for a skeleton crossword do give the puzzle a go um, don't worry if you do find it difficult it takes quite a bit of getting used to skeleton crosswords and you may well find there's a bit more trial and error involved in terms of having a go at answers and seeing if the grid then works out um, than you might be used to from solving standard quick crosswords where the grid is given to you um, but people who like skeleton crosswords really like them and really do enjoy them so give it a go and see if you like it Okay, thanks for watching this video. We hope you found it useful. Uh, if you did, then please like it and subscribe to our channel to be notified of further videos that we release. And if you have any comments um, or suggestions for other videos, then please do just let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Bye.